predict a riot? Yes! It's a live owl! See, what you probably don't know is if the Prime Minister has a particularly tricky problem, he sends an owl to Hogwarts for a little bit of extra magical help. If it's a smaller problem, he might send a buggy. I am the Prime Minister's personal owl keeper. And this is Blodwin. All right, Blodwin? Oh, yes, Daddy! <laughs> and Blodwin is trained to take just such emergency messages. Here's the message, look. There you are, Blodwin. Take that. Now, remember, don't fly into any patio doors. Do your stuff! What's this owl doing here? Why isn't it in the owl room? It's flying through the wrong window. There's a letter. I can't make it out. It's all smudged. I, I think it's from the minister. Do you? What's ever done for us? I'll get rid of it. I've been practicing my conflagration spell. Wait a minute. It doesn't say minister for magic. It says prime minister. What, the muggle one? What's he want? So you can never it may concern. As long as they can use magic. Sounds a bit desperate. Yeah, he's not been very choosy, is he? A terrible crime has befallen the country. Her Majesty the Queen's handbag has been stolen. Voldemort's getting really inventive. No, I don't know, I can't really see Voldemort with a handbag myself. There's more. This handbag contains the reading glasses Her Majesty is due to use to read her speech at her 80th birthday celebrations. That's today, isn't it? Peeves was using it as an excuse to drop red, white and blue eggs over everybody at breakfast. We urgently need your help. We don't know who could have taken the bag or how to get it back. We've tried everything. I know they use Veritas Serum to make thieves at the Ministry confess. But we don't know who the thief is. Oh yeah, good point. No, there must be another way. It can't be that difficult. Akio lost handbag. Akio lost, lost handbag. Found to be one of these. What are you doing with my grand's handbag? Hey, no, your grand isn't the queen, is she? What? None of these handbags are the Queen's. We're too far away from Buckingham Palace to work the Accio charm. Uh, I wouldn't put your hand in there, on. <laughs> Who keeps a mousetrap and a handbag? My gran. Ever since she put her hand in a bag in 1947 and found a fanged gerbil in there, my granddad thought she'd find it funny. Got an idea. Brilliant. If you hurry, I'm losing the circulation in my finger. We'll send a message to the palace. It'll just mean a temporary transference of magical power. We can easily do that. Off you go. Buckingham Palace. You can't miss it. Big white place with a flag on top. A message! Mr. Blood, a message! <coughs> <Love me back. coughs> all right, all right, all right, steady up there. Let's have a look at this. Dear Prime Minister, hang on, I'm not the Prime Minister. Well, he knows that he's given you permission. Oh, has he? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let bloody read the letter. Huh. Dear Prime Minister, happy birthday to the Queen from the students of Hogwarts. Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it? Now, hear, hear to that, Your Majesty. Just get on with it, Richard. That's right, yeah. Get all right, all right, all right. Keep your, your shirt on. <laughs> In view of this special occasion, we send you a charm that can be worked by muggles, as long as they are in possession of a little borrowed magic, which we include in this envelope. Oh, yeah. This is a limited one-time only offer. Stand up straight, point both to the left and the right, and shout the following phrase, Accio, Her Majesty's handbag. What a load of rubbish. 
That hasn't done a thing, has it? That's what you get for using underage wizards. If you'd have asked me, I'd have written to Gandalf. Just maybe we could conjure up enough magical powers if we were to get all of Her Majesty's guests to join in. Let's give it a go. Sit up straight. Point once to the left. Now that's your right, of course, isn't it? Your left is way over there. Point once to the right. Very good. And after three, shout Accio Her Majesty's handbag. One, two, three. Accio Her Majesty's handbag. All right, boys and girls, mums and dads and the lot of you, we've all had a little bottle of apple and elderflower juice and we've had a bit of a laugh. <laughs> well, let's put some backbone into this. All right, sit up straight. Point to your left. To your right. And one, two, three. Accio! Birds of bell as I live and breathe. Now, don't make a run for it, son. 